Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business. Innovation. Transformation. Momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Well, today on our region's business, science takes center stage and Bear and Duquesne University team up to expand scientific horizons for women and minorities. Plus, putting our region's advanced manufacturing to the test. But first, just for moms and for moms, a startup that marries robotics to childcare, which was honored in May with a Carnegie Science Award for Entrepreneurship. The company is actually called Thorley Industries, with products like the Mama Roo that moves the way moms do, and the recently launched Origami, the self-opening and folding stroller. Henry Thorne is the inventor and serial entrepreneur who started the company. Welcome. Good to see you again. Co-founder of the company. Co-founder. I Robert should Dalen. say that. I know, and Rob is yes. rather a critical part of huh. the success of this venture. He is. Right? He is more than half of it, believe me. Well, a, a, a little bit for background mm -hmm. for folks who don't know you. You've been been in town a long time. Mm -hmm. Came out of CMU's Robotics Institute more a lo more years ago than you probably could. Right about. when the Robotics Institute was formed, wow. I, I happened to be there as an undergrad when when it was formed. I got to play with the biggest, funnest toys in the world yeah. in the basements of Hammerschlag Hall at Carnegie Mellon. Uh, with that skills I developed, I went to General Motors and worked on installing and building uh, robotic assembly systems for making cars. Obviously. So the big old arms, oh, you see, going exactly. back and those forth, repetitive spot welding things you see on okay, TV, right, the yeah. big dances, those were my, my, my world. And there was a lot of fun, loved it. But I wanted to make something really exciting and mobile robotics was where the action was. Uh, from Flint, I applied for a grant, a Ben Franklin grant here in Pittsburgh, okay. and got it. So I moved here. I found my wife wanted to be in Pennsylvania anyway, <laughs> and uh, started making mobile robots back then. Okay, thinking you were going to be what, consumer products in those days? Yeah, the, the idea was the first personal robot, and I made this thing called Psy, and it was that, but I couldn't really figure out a good commercial use for it. Hmm. I never really answered the question, what's it for? But it was really cool. <laughs> is that a problem? I mean, you're a technologist. Is you that one of the it. issues? That, that is... That is precisely the problem that has been solved with four moms, which oh. is you've got technologists combined with businessmen. And that's the critical thing. I could make all the coolest things in the world, and if nobody buys them, it doesn't matter. It's a waste of the world's resources if I'm a resource. If you team up with a businessman like Rob Daly, who's able to understand markets and people and consumers and figure out what to make, then you can innovate something that matters like this. Okay, and so how, so how did this come about? How did you and Rob find each other? It was the classic six-hour lunch. Huh. You know, I was looking for a brilliant business person to work with, and he was looking for a partner that would help make all this stuff. Okay. And we ended up uh, spending six hours deciding two big things. One was what we enjoyed was creating value. And the other one was that the cost of electronics is coming down, 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 and there are a sea of openings, uh, possibilities for where to put this stuff now, where the big companies in those spaces probably won't be the first ones to think of it. Okay, and great example. Yeah, a great example being power folding on a stroller. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Origami, I'm wondering, yeah. you know, it's been, uh, been a dozen or 15 years since I needed one of these things, but man, yeah. I'd be first in line to buy one, I'll tell you. Well, thanks, Bill. This is something <laughs> Rob saw at the show. I uh, saw uh, demonstrations where people were having to get down on the ground to fold a stroller. Moms in parking lots with their baby in their arm getting down on the ground to get the thing latched at the end, bad idea. He turned to me, we went off to the side, power folding a stroller. And five <laughs> years later, here it is, and I'll demonstrate Okay, it. absolutely. All right, Let's so all you do is you yeah. rotate this button and push, and voila, folds up. Tight as a button. Okay, and and it's you've even got extra little wheels down here. So it you does can pull wheel wheels, so you can pull it around like up. luggage. All strollers should have that. Ours does. Okay. There's a million features on the stroller that everybody should have. Cup holders for kid, for mom. <laughs> Pathway, running lights. Cup holder display. still remains you upright got, even in that, the folded that's position. Right. That's right. That's right. Right. Odometer. You need to know how far you've gone in life. It's <laughs> and amazing. then I assume it sets back up. Yes. Easily. Right. Turn the Touch button, of a button. Push. You're all done. 
Have I mentioned it's really cool too? <laughs> it is really cool. I'd, I'd want, and it's got lights on it. I just it does have lights. Got, Two got, kinds. Those are daytime running lights, so cars see you in the dark alleys. Then it's got pathway lights underneath that light up the cracks on a sidewalk at night. Unbelievable. What is what is one of these, these things sell? Eight forty nine. So how much? Eight forty nine. Eight forty nine. So it's at the high end. It of the is. Stroller but there's market, a whole right? group of strollers up there, including really? Bugaboo, a very popular stroller. And, uh, it's a little different than our time because I, I used to think you know I wouldn't spend more than a hundred dollars on a stroller, but now there's all kinds of eight hundred dollar strollers, and okay. in fact they're quite quite good, so <laughs> there's a reason to buy them, and they have a pretty large market, and this is, of course, the best one of all of them, but Okay, and this is on sale all over the place right it's now? It's in 100 stores right now. You can buy it at babiesrs.com and target.com, and there are six countries buying We got an order for two containers from Spain the other day. That's exciting. We didn't expect as much international adoption, but that's all happening as quickly as we can get them turned out. W wow, and, and a company obviously based here in our region, probably mm -hmm. doing the manufacturing where you have to to get You have to do it in China. Right? It, would have yeah. to, it would cost us twice as much to build it here. We, we try to build everything here, and we do build our infant tub here uh, because it's a low labor content. But on this, unfortunately, there's hours worth of labor in this, and it uh, puts us in Asia for sure. You mentioned you and Rob. I mean, it mm -hmm. takes a whole team to be mm -hmm. a successful That's absolutely right. and, and to win one of these awards yes. to get this kind of That's recognition, right. right? It should be a team award. Yeah. I mean, I applied for an innovation award, had to put a category down, I put down entrepreneurship, but really, I'm an innovator. Rob is the entrepreneur. Hmm. And, and uh, I, I, the Carnegie Science Award has mm -hmm. been around for a while now, uh, recognizing this kind of work. Is that important to somebody like you? That is why I moved here. Thank you for asking that question. Honestly, God, from Flint, Michigan, I, w I, I loved entrepreneurship. I wanted to do this. But moving to Pittsburgh, the reason I did it was this is a great place to be an entrepreneur. Uh, the fact that there's this show is a great example of it. Didn't have that in Flint. But things like this science award gift, uh, our award ceremony, there will be hundreds of people there that really relish and uh, embrace their entrepreneurs. That, that's wonderful for people like me, and it makes it more exciting, more worth it, and helps encourage everybody to do it. So I, I think it's a huge part, and I, I really thank the Carnegie Science Center for, for doing this. All right, well, it's, it's terrific. Uh, Henry Thorne, thanks so much. By the way, if somebody wants to order one of these, you got a website or a way to find four out? Fourmoms.com. Fourmoms.com. Four moms you can see right. all our stuff. It's great, too. It's all on right. site. Well, uh, congratulations again. Great to see you again. Continued thanks. success. Appreciate it. Next up, we'll go inside the labs of the third fastest growing tech company in our region and find out how they're putting some of our region's most sophisticated products to the test. Don't go away.